Good morning, sir. So today we'll be doing two questions. So our first question will be find minimum value of x square plus y square plus z square when x plus y plus z equals to 3. So here, what we are trying to find is the minimum value of this function. And the question gives us one condition and one function with a, which has three variables, three unknown variables. So it's impossible to find out the value of these three variables using this one condition. So we must have to use Lagrange's method. So let's do it together and find out what the unknown variables values are. So here the given function is x square plus y square plus z square and the given condition is let's let it phi equals to x plus y plus z minus 3a. I have taken this 3a into the le left side and given phi as its variable name. So now using Lagrange's method we know we must have to convert this 2 into a function using this 2 given variables into a function let's call it big F which is equals to small f plus lambda which is a constant into phi now replacing the f and phi we get x square plus y square plus z square plus lambda x square plus y plus z minus 3a now why we did this is that we must have to find four equations by which we can find this unknown variables value so for that we must have to differentiate the big F by x y z and lambda this x y z and lambda we must have to find the value of these all first so big F x is 2x plus lambda so how it came is that uh, I differentiated this all by uh, x so x square will be 2x plus y square will be 0 0 and lambda x will be lambda and others will be 0 as they are constant over here so next one f y equals to 2y plus lambda just like the above one y square will be 2y and the lambda y will be lambda and others will be 0 so similarly fz will also be 2z plus lambda and we must also find with respect to alpha lambda sorry cos 2 which is x plus y plus z minus 3a because these are all constants which will be 0 and x lambda plus y lambda plus z lambda minus 3a lambda will be x plus y plus z minus 3a so now solving for x y z by equating equating fx equals to 0 fy equals to 0 fz equals to 0 and f lambda equals to 0 we get fx which which will be 2x plus lambda from here 2x plus lambda equals to 0 fy will be 2y plus lambda equals to 0 let's call it equation 2 uh, fz will be 2z plus lambda equals to 0 equation 3 and f lambda will be x plus y plus z minus 3a which will be equation which will be equals to 0 and e equation 4 so now over here 1 2 and 3 has lambda common so let's separate it which will be 2x equals to minus lambda 2y equals to minus lambda 2z equals to minus lambda so as lambdas are common over here we can write 2x equals to 2y equals to 2z so cutting off the 2 value we get x equals to y equals to z so from our equation 5 we can replace any of the variables with any of the variables given as x y and z are equal so 
an equation for So in equation 4, when we put the value of any of the variables, let's put x for instance, 3x minus 3a equals to 0 and here 3x will be 3a and 3 3 cot and x will be a. So our required points will be a comma a comma a. So, our given question is to find the minimum value, but we have only uh, found out the points by which some value will come out, but we don't know if these points are minimum or maximum. So, for finding that, that thing, we must have to find delta 1 and delta 2. So, the formula for delta 1 is, sorry, it's a 3 into 3 matrix determinant. So, uh, the formula goes like this, the first row and the first column, we must have to remember this formula, this phi x and phi y and downside also phi x and phi y. And uh, I use this, this method, this method to remember this formula. So in our second row, I, I replace everything, I, I put everything with fx and fx as here is x. So I put fx and fx. So uh, by looking at the column side, I again put this x into our second place and this y into our second place. Also similarly on our third row, I put fy and fy and from our column, I put x and y in our second place. So this is the technique that I use to remember this formula. So also, I'll write the formula for our delta 2, so it will be easy for us uh, to solve it. So, just like delta 1, I'll use, only use 4 into 4 matrix by adding Z. So, just like the first row and the second row, I'll put phi x, phi y, and phi z. The added part will only be, will only be Z, and on our column side, 5x, phi y, and phi z right and just like our our we found out delta 1 the second row will be fx 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 from the row side and the column side this x will come over here this y and this z this is only the technique that i use to remember this formula so also on our third row fy 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 and the column side x y and z and the third row will be fz, fz, fz and this columns x, y and z. So now finding out f, x, x, f, x, y and f, x, z and f, y, x, f, y, y, f, y, z and f z x f z y and f z z we must have to find all of these and also this phi x phi y and phi z what do we mean by this phi x we must have to differentiate that given condition with respect to x y z and so on and we also have to differentiate with f x x what does this f x x means is that uh, we must have to differentiate it with our right term first with x and then after the after we find out the value we must again differentiate it with respect to x so let's find out the values so f x x means so also i will have to write a note over here so before we found out this delta 1 and delta 2 we used the big f to find the value of the given variables x y and z but after the finding the points we we use the given function in our equation, the small f function will not use that big f function. So, finding the f x x will have two 
2x first we'll have 2x and again differentiating it with respect to uh, x will have 2 as x will be 1 right and f x y if we ha will have to differentiate it so for instance I'll write the given function to make it easy x plus y square plus z square okay so f x y means if we differentiate it with y it will be 2y but again if we differentiate it with x as we go from right to left if we differentiate it with x then it will be 0 as there is no x variable and there is only y as constant so it will be 0 and this will also be 0 as if we differentiate it with z it will be 2z and as after that if we differentiate it with x then it will be 0 this will also be 0 and this will be 2y means for first if we differentiate it with y then it will be 2y and again if we differentiate it with y then it will be 2 so uh, this also it will be 0 this also it will be 0 and this also it will be 0 and for this z term 2z and again if we differentiate it with z then it will be 2 so we must also have to find the phi x phi y and phi z value so for finding out this value let 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 me write the phi equation over here x plus y plus z minus 3a so if we differentiate it with x then we'll get 1 for its value as it's it has only 1x over here and if we differentiate it with y we'll get 1 and similarly if we differentiate it with z we'll get 1 so putting all these values to our determinant side of uh, uh, delta 1 we'll get 0 1 1 1 1 and f x x will be 2 and remaining will be 0 0 and f y y will be 2 so if we determ if we uh, expand this determinant then we'll get so first I'll tell you the sign convention for this one it will be plus minus and plus and as it, this is 0 then we, we can expand it with R1 uh, expanding it in R1 we'll get minus 1 and the determinant will be 1 1 0 1 2 we must have to leave this row and this column and write out the remaining part and again for that next one we must have to leave this column and this row and write out the remaining part and we'll get minus 1 2 minus 0 plus 1 uh, 0 minus 2 which will be minus 2 minus 2 which is minus 4 which is less than 0 okay so again finding out our delta 2 it's 4 into 4 matrix and the formula I have already given it on the next side so 0 and plotting out the value 1 1 1 1 1 1 and f x x will be 2 others remaining will be 0 f y x will be 0 f y y will be 2 f y z will be 0 f z x will be 0 f z y will be 0 and f z z will be 2 so expanding it uh, it's a little difficult for 4 into 4 matrix as uh, it will uh, take a little bit more time so we, we must have to use a calculator for this one so I'll expand it expanding it uh, in R4 why did I expand it into R4 uh, because it has two zeros which will make it easier for us because uh, expanding it with uh, the two term will be uh, ultimately zero and we will only have to expand it into remaining two terms so we can eliminate two terms over here by expanding it in R4 so now first I'll give you the sign convention so if we start from R1 it would have been easy because it is just plus minus plus minus but as we are starting from R4 so as we go it alternatively the sign changes if R1 starts from plus then R2 will start from minus minus plus minus plus R2 will start from plus minus plus minus and alternately it will be minus 
plus minus plus so expanding it minus 1 and re removing this row and this column we write out these points now which is 3 into 3 uh, determinant 1 1 1 2 0 0 0 2 0 and leaving out these two zeros we'll go to 2 and we'll write out these determinants leaving out the rows and these columns 0 1 1 1 2 0 1 0 2 okay so I'll solve it using the calculator so minus this 3 into 3 matrix will be 4 plus this will be Yeah, this will also be 4 sorry minus 4 so solving it minus 8 which will give us a total of minus 12 which also less than 0 so why did you why did we find out the value of delta 1 and delta 2 is that we needed to find out if the points are minimum points or maximum points so if uh, the points were minimum then delta 1 would be zero, less than 0 and delta delta 2 which will also be less than 0 so here in our uh, in our equation which we got in our delta 1 and delta 2 uh, the delta 1 is also less than 0 and delta 2 is also less than 0 so ultimately our points is a minimum point so a comma a comma a is a minimum point So, uh, how how would we know if it was a minimum maximum point? So, for finding the maximum point, the delta one should be greater than zero. Only if delta one is less than zero, we can call it minimum. So, here in our equation, we got delta one less than zero, so it is a minimum point. So, finding out that minimum value by plotting by using a comma a comma a in our function we get x square plus y square plus z square which will be 3a square